heavier weights, less amount of reps, or a little bit lighter weight, but but more uh, reps? I'm sure you get asked that yeah. a lot. It's very, very, what's very interesting is if you look at the data on, on muscle protein synthesis following, and again, muscle protein synthesis doesn't tell us everything because just because muscle protein synthesis goes up doesn't mean that um, it's not broken down, okay? We have what we call microRNAs. After muscle protein synthesis goes up, come and eats up all that protein and breaks it right down, okay? But let's just look at muscle protein synthesis because it's one of the things that we can assume uh, is leading to muscle growth. If we have somebody take away and do curls with 90% of their one rep max, and they could only get, what, let's say two or three, right? Maybe that weight. Or we give them a weight where they can do 20 or 30 reps. Okay, Which one do you think would lead to greater muscle growth? Do you guess one would lead to greater muscle growth than the other? 30 reps or three reps? What would you guess? Well, I think... I think I've heard that somewhere before, but basically the first one will get you stronger potentially, but the other one will yeah, make but, the okay. muscle. Right. When we talk about what we call the rep range continuum, right? That means reps in the range of three to six reps are great for strength. Reps in the range of seven to 12 are great for muscle hypertrophy and reps of 15 and more are great for endurance. Okay. Okay. That, but that is not what I'm talking. Yes. The, there's some of that. But if you look at the research, they compare having somebody do a weight where they can get 30 reps, so very lightweight. They can do 30 reps or they can do, let's say, four or five reps. Muscle protein synthesis is the same as long as they reach muscle failure. As long as they hit muscle failure with very heavy weight or the very lightweight, Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Muscle protein synthesis is about the same. So you, you get the same benefits, same muscle uh, growth. Muscle, I'm stimulating muscle protein synthesis. That's not the only way muscles grow, though, right? The, right? Well, there's other, you know. There's other the, factors, right? Yeah. Like, exa like, heavy weight will make you stronger. Being stronger will allow you to use more weight on all your other, re that will, right? Doing low reps will increase vascularity you'll you'll literally grow more blood vessels more blood vessels means you're delivering more nutrients you know to those in, in hormones to those muscle cells so you you can't just stick to one or the other you need switching variety it up is, switching it up is probably the best right is always the best because it's your the stimulation you get from weightlifting is not just about the mechanical stimulation right it's doing numerous things it's increasing growth hormone release, uh, testosterone level. It's increasing blood vessels, right? It's doing all these other things that lead to muscle growth. So in the end, you always want variety. You always want to switch it up. And, re and, and really, that's what my whole message is about, is always changing it up, always having variety. You know, even a power lifter doesn't just go in and do – most people think a powerlifter just goes into the gym and does one rep all day because that's no, they never do. They rarely do one rep unless it's competition, you know, and then and many times they're using very light weight for explosive reps for the power. And so, um, you know, you need all those, uh, different training styles.